Green tea. For more than 30 years, Western researchers have known that the occurrence of solid tumor cancers is far less in countries where populations consume large amounts of green tea. Cultures that are endowed with a long tea tradition have much to contribute to individual and global health. However, this applies only to green tea. Regular black tea, presently very popular almost everywhere, has not much to do with real tea. Real tea is derived from the tea plant Thea sinensis or Thea essentia, not to be confused with herb teas such as peppermint, chamoil or fennel. Both black and green teas originate from the same tea plant, but their methods of producing are different. The breaking of the leaves of the plants and exposing them to the oxygen of the air produces black tea. The resulting natural fermentation process destroys the most important biological ingredients of the tea, the tannins. In, by contrast, during the production of green tea, the leaves are stabilized through exposure to both humid and dry heat. This eliminates fermentation-producing enzymes and safeguards the nutrients. Green tea has over 100 ingredients that have been found useful for a number of conditions. It inhibits cell mutations leading to cancer, reduces blood fats, balances serum cholesterol levels, prevents high blood pressure, increases heart efficiency, improves brain functions, enhances metabolism, supports secretion of saliva, increases growth of hair, reduces body fat and weight, stimulates digestion and helps clear urinary tract obstructions. May I to buy green tea? Green tea is widely available in groceries and health stores. How to take green tea? To get the amount of caffeine and catagens purported to help you lose weight, you'd need to drink 2 to 3 cups of green tea a day. Green tea weight loss recipe. Ingredients. Green tea leaves. The basic quantity should be 1 teaspoon for 1 cup of green tea. You may also use green tea pearls. A tea strainer, a cup and a cup of water. How to prepare. Take 1 teaspoon of green tea leaves. If you want to make more than a cup of green tea, take 1 teaspoon of green tea leaves for each cup. So, take 4 teaspoons of green tea leaves for 4 cups of green tea. Now, take the tea leaves in a strainer, sieve and keep aside. Now, take a stainless steel pot or pan and boil the water. If you want to use a glass teapot instead, go ahead. The ideal temperature for green tea is 80 degree Celsius to 85 degree Celsius. So keep an eye on the water to make sure it's not boiling. If it starts boiling anyway, just switch off the gas or heat and let it cool for a bit, let's say for 30 to 45 seconds. Now place the sieve or strainer over the cup or mug. Next, pour the hot water into the cup and let the tea steep for 3 minutes. This is the step where we need to be very careful. Not everyone likes their tea strong, so to check whether the tea is just right, keep a spoon handy and drink a spoonful of tea every 30 to 45 seconds to find out if the flavor is right for you. Now take out the sieve and keep it aside. If you want, you may add one teaspoon of honey, but this is optional. Stir the honey and let the drink cool for a few seconds. Enjoy your cup of green tea. Benefits Green tea is thought to boost metabolism. It contains powerful antioxidants called cadicin polyphenols, which have been found to stimulate your metabolism and in turn accelerate weight loss. The polyphenols in the tea stimulate the central nervous system and cause fat to be released into the bloodstream for the body to use as fuel. 
Catechin polyphenols in green tea also appear to stimulate the use of fatty acids by liver and muscle cells. This then reduces the rate that carbohydrates are used and allows for more endurance and longer exercise times. Precaution Excess dose of caffeine can also lead to an upset stomach. Avoid taking it on an empty stomach. Consuming green tea on an empty stomach can lead to toxicity. Have green tea after a meal or after you have eaten something. If taken before meals, it can cause acidity. Don't consume green tea if you are pregnant. Green tea should be avoided by a pregnant woman or while you are nursing a baby. It can give rise to risks.